genuinely taking 40 steps forward. And I just feel like I'm about to take 20 steps back. <laughs> Welcome to Brit Nation, the one and only nation. Um, if you're returning, girl, what's up? I know I'm kind of whispering right now because I'm not home. I'm actually babysitting. Um, but yeah, today's been a morning. I had a dream that definitely kind of like threw me off. Um, I was a little hesitant to even start making this vlog because I feel like it's like, do I really even have anything to show? But I just really right now kind of want to focus on like documenting my journey. Um, yeah, yeah, because I'm just like going through so many transitions, you know, but I feel I really feel like God is like about to do a thing. So I just really want y'all to see it from the ground up. Um, but anyway, like I said, right now I'm at um, one of the family's house that I babysit for. Um, so I'm going to be here for a few hours. Um, I'm about to clean up. And I'm like, do they want to see that? But I like, I just want y'all to see, like, I feel like I'm genuinely trying. Like, there was a point, because I said in my other video, like, I've been struggling. But there was a, um, yeah, like, I don't know. But yeah, like I said, I was just like, do y'all want to, do they want to see this? Like, I'm not on shit. Like, I'm just sitting here. Of course, I'm not going to, like, show the baby on sake of like their privacy but just kind of like um just I don't know like I was saying there's a point in time where I feel like I genuinely wasn't trying but right now I feel like I'm genuinely trying like never thought I'd be babysitting never thought I'd be in somebody's house cleaning up for them like but this is like anything that I anything that I can do to like get myself financially stable that's what I'm trying to do. And it's like my birthday's next month. And I really want to enjoy my birthday to the fullest. Like, I don't want to be like, oh, I can't get my hair done the way I want to because, um, you know, because I'm broke. But, yeah, so about to clean up for them. And then I'll probably just read. So if y'all see, like, videos of me, like, reading or journaling, it's just literally, like, me because the baby's napping. So this is what I do, try to, like, be productive during the nap time and still, like, you know, I'm probably about to upload my get to know me tag and um, probably just journal, do some research, something. I don't know. Then I'm going out later, so I'll show y'all that too. We'll probably spend about like two or three days together. Is that cool? Um, but yeah, I'll be back soon. <laughs> Me, I don't believe when you whine, nah. as long as we go there, I'm on a me go pay, yeah Yeah, we go there, we go there, nice, if you enter the place, I go there, nice I go fake it, fake it, fake it, I go rewind, say now me go be the DJ, I'm on feel nice Say my party, no, you make you think twice, if not smoke, you won't smoke, say we day tight I'm on my love, go, say we leave nice, yeah You wanna make a change, I'll give me two Hey, y'all, my curls are starting to drop, but, um Y'all was definitely supposed to get ready with me, but I, um what was I about to say? I woke up late. I was supposed to be here at 12. I woke up at 12. So this is like 12.48. Um, so hopefully she's not mad at me. But um, I don't even know if I told y'all. I'm about to go out. When I first moved to Atlanta, I was a bottle girl. And I met this girl. She's so cool. And we really connected. So it's about to be her birthday. So as I told y'all in my previous vlog, I've literally been a grandma. I've been in the house, like, I, I hate the way my curls look right now, I cannot lie. I gotta, I don't know. But, I, um, yeah, like, I have not been going out and I told myself, like, any opportunity that I have to go out, to meet people, to be found, anything. Oh shit, there's a car coming. Um, That I gotta go, like, I can't say no. Girl, when I say I haven't put a, port, a pair of heels on in so long, my feet are hurting already. I'm going in that bitch and I'm sitting down. But, um, yeah, I'm so sorry that I couldn't show y'all. I'm giving, though. I'm serving Sunday night looks. Like, I got this bodysuit on. 
and I got these booties on. Do y'all remember when Kim K had wore um that bodysuit and it looked like the pants was like all one or I don't know if it was all one, but that's what it's giving. Um, I'm gonna see if I can show y'all, but I don't know. But I'm gonna show y'all when I get there. Let me rush, cause I'm like 15 minutes away, but I'm hella late, but hour late. So, see y'all. definitely sweating out so after tonight i'm going to wrap it hey y'all so okay it was cool i had fun it's so crazy like i've literally been in the house for so long that it actually feels weird to go out um my mom was i think i said in the first video out my hair was like giving grandma um so yeah but my curls dropped so i feel better but after um, Sheba's, we had went to um, Chic or whatever. I guess it's a club or like it gave lounge, but I think it's a club, like a lounge. But we went there or whatever. So definitely I, I um, recommend Sheba's. So it was like they played like if you're into like Afro beats and stuff like that, like they played a lot of Afro beats. Dang, y'all can't even see me. Maybe I should have. Um, did this when I got home but I'm gonna pull in my garage but anyway um yeah like if you're into like afro beads and stuff like that like it's definitely perfect for that it was a vibe like they was in there popping bottles y'all so that's y'all vibe I recommend this and it's Sunday that I'm recording this video so for it to have been like that on a Sunday I think that's a good vibe so I feel like if you you know trying to catch a vibe like Sunday night I would recommend it's in the North Druid Hills area <clears throat> so that's that she was okay I mean no it was ass actually there was nobody really in there it was just like very given after hours but at this point it's damn near like well my 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 clock says 501 I think it's four I think it's more like 4. But, um, yeah, it's like 4 a.m. So, I mean, what could you really expect on a Sunday night? But one thing about Atlanta, they're going to turn up after hours. So, that's kind of something cool. Like, if you come to visit or whatever, like, you know, don't think. Like, I know when I was living in Maryland, we'd be done. Like, 2 a.m., that's it. Like, we started clipping like 10. Like, I didn't go out until it was like 1 o'clock in the morning when I left my house. So, yeah, I'm about to go home. Well, I am home at this point, but I'm about to... I think I'm going to just wrap my hair and just let it be straight because, I don't know, the curls ain't giving no more. My, I mean, I think my hair did well. It's, like, been basically a week at this point. Um, I think my hair did well to, like, had not had heat in a while um, or whatever. But, yeah so i'm about to wrap my hair go home my dog is probably pissed off but mommy has to go out and have a good time um yeah so basically i'll record again tomorrow sorry it's like so much going on with me I'm trying to get out of my car and i hope i'm not too close to my face but um yeah so I'll see y'all tomorrow. I just wanted to show y'all my little dog because every time I get home, he be so hype. No, no, not in the face. Say hi, little buddy. He's a part of Brit Nation too, right? I should give him a chain. Did I say Brit Nation? What y'all think? Um, I kind of want to talk to y'all more because I'm up. Like, it's 4 a.m., but... I'm up and I look he wanna like journal and work right now, but I probably should go to sleep. Cause I got like a low key, like a day ahead of me. I take acting classes on Mondays. So I got that. I'm supposed to be meeting someone at the um coffee shop and I'm supposed to babysit tomorrow, but I don't have to anymore. So yeah. Um 
Yeah, I would love to talk, but I know y'all probably like wrap it up. But um, yeah, just want to show y'all, Louis. Louis, say hi, booty, boo, boo, boo. Say hi, bookie, but. Say hi, booty, but. <laughs> but alright, y'all, for real this time. I mean, I really don't want to stop talking, but I know y'all probably like, bitch, wrap it up. And I don't want to make this vlog too long. I don't really got too much to show this week, but. Hey, y'all, good morning. Um, hair's looking. My pin curls. Uh, my scarf fell off, and I just haven't got around to putting it back on. Because I'm very pissed off right now. Honestly, I am. Um, I'm just kind of in the point in my journey where once again, I feel like I've taken 40 steps forward. Like, I've genuinely taken 40 steps forward. And I just feel like I'm about to take 20 steps back. Um, and I'm just, you know, I'm sick of it. I I want to cry. I want to just get in the bed and just go to sleep and just, you know, just say fuck it, honestly. But I'm trying to push through. This is literally a, like a live description of my life and where I'm at and... It just doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good when you're trying um, and just, there's just something else. But I've learned to not take it personal. So I, you know, me try, like the fact that life is just happening doesn't have anything to do with me trying. But like more than anything right now, I'm just really trying to find stability in my life. And it's like, I've been really trying to stand on the fact that I don't want to settle for a job that I don't want. But sometimes you just literally got to do what you got to do. But I'm trying to do what I got. I'm trying to do what I have to do, but it's still not making sense. And so it's like, that's what I mean by I feel like I like tried all that I can. Like these little jobs are not working out. Um, they're not paying my bills. Uh, they're you know, I definitely feel like it's keeping me still. That's one thing I can say. Um, but, I mean, I want to be happy. I want to be free. I want to enjoy life. Um, that's all I really have. So, uh, I'm not too sure if I'll pick the camera up again today. Because I'm really not feeling it. Um so i actually accepted a job but it's like project based which kind of works for me because i've been trying to find like flexibility and freedom but they just let me know that you know they require a vaccination so that's kind of bothering me right now because like i don't want to be vaccinated personally um but basically what is that i'm talking about what the heck um, I need to do a lip scrub because my lips have not been given. But um, I don't want to be vaccinated at all. But sometimes, you know, I feel like I'm so fucking broke. I don't have a choice. But that's not a good feeling. Yeah, but I'm here. So I don't know, friends. I don't know. Say a prayer for your girl. I'll see y'all soon. Hey, y'all. So, I'm just checking in. Um, I spent the night at my friend's house yesterday. Me and Louie. So, I don't know if you can see him, but he's there. She made me a nice, cute little breakfast and some iced coffee. Yesterday was a really hard day. I have to be honest. Um, I woke up this... That's really good. I woke up this morning, like, declaring that yesterday was yesterday. But... I'm still feeling it. Um, let me come back when I'm done eating. Okay, y'all. So, I just got the vaccination. Um, I'm actually very, like, I feel better, actually. I think that I got, like, all my curse words out and all my, like, anger and frustrations about it. 
Um, I've been very like pro, I mean, anti-vax. Like I was not, no, like I did not want it. Like, you know, I try my best to live like a very like holistic um, life and just, I don't like to fall in the traps of the government. Um, you know, and it's nothing against anyone that works for the government or anybody that, you know, is vaccinated or like anything like that. But, um, it just, mm -mm, like, it's just not my thing. I don't trust it. Um, I, the reason that I got it is because I was like offered a job or whatever that, um, you know, requires it because like I would be working like in the hospital system and stuff like that. Um, so once everything is like more set in stone with that, I'll like tell you guys more about it. But for me personally, I was just kind of hesitant because it's like, I'm not even looking at this job as like a full, like a full time job. Like I feel like it's just like a second stream of income in a sense. So I'm like, is it even worth it? Um, but I was just like, you know, I kind of feel like with everything that I've just been going through, like I'm not in a space to turn down a job, you know, or to like miss out of any money. So I was just like, you know, I was talking to my cousin. I mean, she lives in New York and like she was just basically telling me how like in New York it's gotten to the point where um, basically like like no matter what you do, like you have to be vaccinated. So I'm just like, you know, I don't know that it, that will necessarily like pour on to like other states or, um, you know, cities or whatever. But I was just like, you know what, like I just I'm like, let me just go ahead and get this so that way I never have to worry about it again. Uh, because there has been like, you know, small things here and there that's like popped up. Where, like you have to be vaccinated for so <sighs> i probably like when i wanted to like record while i was like genuinely upset but it's just it's not even positive vibes with that so i'm feeling a lot better um i've been doing like a lot of research on like how to detox so um that's another thing like i kind of got it like very abruptly um like you know i kind of got like the vaccine like very abruptly like i didn't have time to like mentally prepare for it or anything like that um and so i wasn't able to like like i'm kind of like just now doing my research today and i just got it today but um from what i have researched so far like it's definitely important to like detox your body and get those heavy metals out so for it like from now until you know i get my third one or whatever or my second one like i'm really gonna try my best to like detox and to like you know like take in a lot of like leafy greens and um you know just like really like hydrate myself and stuff like that so about to go inside and um get some food and i'll see y'all soon I guess it's like perks of being a YouTuber. I was recording, um, and so they just started to do um, this mango drink. So they want me to try it. So let's see. I'm gonna give y'all the hot, even though this drink is free. It's good. It tastes like, you know, like, um, like organic stuff doesn't always taste like, it got a little kick to it. That's good. I would actually get it again. Okay. Yeah. So basically, um, I know it's probably, it's like still fast food, but I always love to get this like grilled. Um, I get like the chicken. It's like a mango avocado. Um, it's really fresh actually, like way fresher than Chipotle. It's very, very fresh. So I probably should've got all greens now that I think about it, but I mixed it up with like greens and rice, but it'd be like brown rice or whatever. So it'd be good but yeah i'm about to try to my best to like double up on all of this stuff and just keep my body healthy and you know get out that stuff as much as i can i'm okay i just literally just bumped my arm and realized like oop, my arm is a little sore but other than that i am okay um and so yeah so i'm about to go to kill me crazy and get some green juices like pure just green juice um you know so that way i definitely can and i'll probably like just be intentional about like drinking that as much as possible but yes y'all this week has been rough so far so this has been a lot to take in um i actually also just decided to cancel my birthday trip which i'm really like kind of bummed about um but it's just like some stuff had just come up and I'm just like, you know, like, I feel like I'm about to be 25. Like, I'm just trying to be better with, like, my decision making and, like, my responsibility. But it kind of sucks because it's like, 
It's my 25th birthday. So I'm trying to decide like what I want to do. Like my friends have offered to like still come and see me or like, you know, like tell me to just still come to them. So what y'all think I should do? Or should I just sit it out and get my life? But um, yeah, I'm about to um, go eat and I'll either check in with y'all later today or maybe tomorrow. This vlog isn't giving what I wanted to give, but I guess it's just like a reality of like where my life has been. So we'll see. As y'all can see, I'm the babysitter of the year. I have booster seats and car seats for days, child. And diapers and wipes in here, too. But, um, yeah. So I'll probably, like, honestly, maybe do, like, a little bit. I want to try to find, like, an herb store to get some herbs that I can, like, take some teas and stuff to help detox me. Um, and once I find that, that'll probably be the end of the vlog. But I'll keep y'all posted. Um, see ya. So it's gonna be nice. Hi, I want to drink it. You want me to drink it? No, I want to drink it. That is nasty. If you wanna make a ginger, give me tea, coca rum, my coach, I'll be your love, and you have a coach, I come up with my bum, my love. So, once again, I don't think I did my research enough. They have a lot of stuff in here, and I'm gonna put the information on the show notes, but it's a lot of different herbs, a lot of different vitamins, and, um, yeah, I'll put the information in the show notes. But this is what the guy suggested. Um, I haven't done my research on it, so I'm not saying get it, but if it's something that y'all want to, like, look into, just so you have, or whatever. Um, I'm not getting it because I just didn't do enough research, but as I promised y'all, I would find a store for y'all.